Hey guys, how are you? Back home. Time for a little update on the markets. Um, I've been studying the fork situation of Bitcoin and um, I came to the conclusion that um, it is it is not uh, interesting to invest in Bitcoin yet, uh, even though uh, it has dropped a lot in uh, market dominance um, from 85% to now 66%, uh, like a real slight down only in three weeks or so. Um, and it's now holding, but and normally, if you look at historical performance, it's really time for a correction for Bitcoin to go back up versus altcoins in dominance. But um, for the long term, I don't see that. Uh, for the short term, of course, it's possible that we have a rebound now. Uh, Bitcoin is around $1,100. Um, uh, so it could go to 1300 again while pushing down altcoin markets. Um, uh, some altcoins have pumped very hard, uh, Ethereum, Dash, um, Decrypt, um, and uh, I'm sure many others have also uh, tenfolded in Bitcoin value or fivefolded, or many have at least doubled. Eh? So, 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 so that's why Bitcoin lost so much market dominance. But um, and it's clear that there is a negative, um, a negative. Um, there is fear around Bitcoin, and, and in the Bitcoin community, uh, people are indeed uh, fearful of what's going to happen. So this is priced in already. Um, Bitcoin should have gone into a new bubble uh, a half a year ago, at least, or, or even like a year, two years ago. Uh, but um, um, well. I mean, 14 was the correction, 13 was a big bubble, 14 the correction, 15 was the bottom at the beginning and then it started to go up again, but it was so slow, it was around $250 for half a year, only at the end of the year it went at 400 okay, that's that was slow, uh, but then the, uh, the year after 2016 it went from 400 to 1000 uh, last year, uh, that was starting to pick up steam but at the same time suddenly the transaction fees start to go up a lot and 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 and, and the conflict that had been um, um, uh, like the the, the, the and, and 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 this has really accelerated uh, the the fears i uh, do the conflict uh, the internal conflict and and now what, what has happened now is that um well people are really starting to take sides as i as i have done and many others um and, uh, and you can see that also in the miners. Um, so you see that about Segwit, uh, so the Bitcoin core uh, proposal is about supported 40% or so. And, and but, but Bitcoin Unlimited, the other, um, uh, the other um, vision eh, of uh, the future of Bitcoin is, is also supported by about 40% of the miners. So, but both need 95%. Uh, and that's l very unlikely to happen though. There may become a tilting point uh, when, when one of them goes to 50-60% at the other one and the other one not, that suddenly you have a massive overflow uh, and you do get a big majority of support of one of them. Uh, but um, but but uh, but I don't I don't think uh, this is 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 going to happen. The 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 camps are very divided, uh, and and, um, and 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 I think we will have a real uh, fork where we have two bitcoins, and uh, uh, people are preparing for that. Uh, they they are preparing to like there was a draft between exchanges that they will call Bitcoin Unlimited, not BTC but BTU, and um, and so and so and so uh, this is most likely scenario that's going to happen the question is when huh? and that's um, um, it may happen uh, over the next few months uh, but um, uh, and, and I personally think in contrast to many others that price of Bitcoin uh, as a whole will go up uh, if when this happens um, I don't think um, it will go down uh, and I think that because we've seen it with Ethereum so there is a past um, uh, performance that you can look at eh? a past event that is comparable and, and there Ethereum as a whole did not uh, collapse in value uh, due to a, a fork uh, Ethereum classic uh, splitting off 
uh, and a piece of the community splitting off. Um, in the end, um, Ethereum lost some value, but then Ethereum Classic gained some value, and, and the combination of both, and, and, and all Ethereum holders have Ether coins in both, eh? the combination of both um, was uh, the same value. And after that, uh, both boomed hard. So I think the same will happen for Bitcoin. So I, I don't think it's a bad investment, Bitcoin, but, um, but uh, I do think that uh, even after the fork, uh, both Bitcoins are uh, not um, that great. Um, I think Bitcoin Unlimited will be much better than the Bitcoin, uh, or the Bitcoin from Core. I do think that scaling on chain is the right way for, forward. But even when you scale on chain, you still have a big. Uh, why do I think it? Because of course, uh, it's 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 like Bitcoin needs to scale on chain because that will uh, support the miners. The miners need to have uh, income, and that will only happen when there are transactions on chain. That's how they make money. And, and they need to make money to secure the chain. And so as more people use it, um, um, uh, they need to earn more money to secure it uh, better. But also as more people use it, um, um, uh, the value of Bitcoins will go up. When you build a network on top, uh, this all is at risk. And, uh, and, and so I don't think it's a good solution. But um, I do agree with Bitcoin Core that uh, uh, and and I find it a pity that they don't um, don't say it that way. But what's really going on here is I think that uh, there is a lack of a business model in in Bitcoin. And so the scaling on chain is not a technical problem, as Roger Ver says correctly, but a social problem. But it is actually not really well. Yeah, the social problem is that it's about the money, and uh, Bitcoin Core doesn't make any money. Uh, so so they need to create a business model on top of Bitcoin and by building up a lightning network on top they can charge fees and and a piece of that can go to the uh, developers so 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 that's what's really uh, going on and and if you have a split of these two bitcoins i think the bitcoin core uh, in the long run will not uh, do very well uh, because um uh, i think you should implement your business model on the first layer not on the second layer because you need to really support the value of bitcoins eh? Uh, and so you need to build the business model uh, in the first layer as Dash has done, as Zcash is doing, as Decrypt is doing, when you have a piece of the fl inflation uh, of the first layer going to um, pay for developers, then that problem is solved. And so um, uh, Bitcoin Core will not have that after the split. And also Bitcoin Unlimited will not have that a business model. Uh, and so again you will get problems in the future where you have frustrated developers that want to start to get paid and the donation system doesn't work very well so 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 uh, both are not a great solution and 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 that's just one thing that they st still haven't solved solved a business a proper business model implemented in the first layer both will not have it but both will also not have better privacy eh? and and i fully agree with the vision of roger ver and and, and, and also, I really respect this man highly for what he has done for Bitcoin. It's thanks to him and of just a few other people that Bitcoin is, has succeeded. Um, uh, every project is thanks to human beings. And, um, uh, um, and, and sometimes things, uh, very often things don't happen in history because there were not the right human beings to do it. Um, we don't know about that because it never happened. But you see that even things can get lost. Um, uh, anyways, uh, so, 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 so I think Bit uh, like Roger Ver has been instrumental uh, to make Bitcoin a success. He was uh, the first to invest heavily into it and to promote it heavily. Uh, and, 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 and also, like, he is a really great promoter and he really... Um, like it's always about values, a company or a project um, always comes forward from values. You need to have the values first and then all the decisions will come from that. And he really embraces the values of Bitcoin, uh, that it is rooted in um, voluntarism, uh, that, 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 that it's all about uh, creating um, a, a currency that... Um, 
competes with government currency because government currency is not only destroying people's savings. Uh, you, you, everybody that saves in government cu currency loses their, their capital. But it's also about governments, like the way they, what they do with the money they steal via inflation and via taxes is, well, in many cases, evil. Um, uh, many of the things they do, um, if you would do that as an individual, uh, you would be branded as a bad person. But when the government does it, it's okay. So, um, uh, caging people, uh, uh, like caging people because they smoke a plant or um, uh, go to other regions uh, uh, and, 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 and point a gun at them and, and say, if you don't do what I want you to do, uh, I, I kill you. Like, this is, uh, this is what governments do. Huh? Uh, and um, there is a big di difference between, um, um, between uh, protecting. Uh, your property and invading another one's property. Uh, the, other, the last one is evil, eh? um, uh, the first one not. Eh? Uh, but governments very often are about um, invading people's um, property. Eh? Uh, so, um, but, but how can they finance all that? Eh? Well, they can only finance it thanks to their income stream because you need a lot of really police officers and uh, army people. You, you need to pay all these people. Nobody works for free. So the government um, system really depends fully on its funding and its funding is working extremely well uh, thanks to the fiat system. So in order to have a better world, it's, a, it, it, it's to have lower taxes that will give people more resources for themselves and they will make People make much better decisions with their own money eh, than the government does with their money, uh, but also um, uh, like uh, lower taxes, but also like the inflation. Like th that's half of the income of a government is the taxes only half. The other half is inflation. Eh, them printing money every year, every day actually, many billions, and giving it to themselves eh, uh, by buying government bonds. They issue a government bond. And the Federal Reserve buys it, and that's how they get the money every day, many, many billions. And that's how uh, the whole government system, all the people that work for it, get paid. So, so it's, this is the battle we fight uh, by creating private currencies uh, that do not have this drain on inflation, where governments cannot issue more currency and put it in their pockets. Um, and this has long been fought hard by all governments and if you would start your own currency you get imprisoned for life. Huh? Um, so, so Bitcoin has, has broken with that, was the first currency to um, uh, uh, build in such a way that... Uh, and it's not just about technically built in a decentralized way, it's also like by... Um, uh, it's also the philosophy behind it that was finally embraced by, by also big players in governments and that's why it wasn't clamped down on that's why the justice department in america and the leading politicians said okay well, let's just not arrest the programmers uh, let's see how, what comes of this eh? and 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 um and this has been a real breakthrough this is this is the biggest breakthrough uh, it's the technical uh, it's some technical breakthroughs eh? uh, thanks to cryptography uh, and, and thanks to some, some innovations, um, uh, but also it's really a social breakthrough uh, thanks to um, uh, people, thanks to the financial crisis of 2008, uh, many people finally realized that this, the current money system is not, is not working well. Um, because the, 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 the money printing is not only to finance governments, it's also to like bail out uh, banks and keep keep up a very, um, very um, bad uh, financial system that really causes a lot of losses. Eh? Uh, and it, also the discipline. There used to be a lot more discipline with, with money printing by government. It used to be really not done that when you print money that you can buy government bonds. This was something that Germany did not do. But as the financial crisis happened, even Germany that was now part of the ECB became like under great pressure to start printing money 
to bail out governments, uh, for to buy government bonds directly, but also to really even buy uh, like banks, and 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 so within the 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 the, the, the political class, there was a broad movement from okay, look, we we also need Ale. This is not a good system, and at the same time, and Bitcoin was timed perfectly. Bitcoin was launched in end 2008, beginning 2009, and and they let it they let it happen and let it grow because they re- finally realized we need also an alternative to fiat. And so, this is this is this is what's happening. But now, what's happening with and Bitcoin has huge mind share uh, in the world. Uh, many people know about Bitcoin. And, uh, and that's because it has been such a breakthrough on, on technical level, but also on social level. And so, but what happens now is that, of course, for the masses, they are not ideological, they are practical. So the masses will not adopt something due to ideological reasons, but if it's practical, they will. And, and so this is at great risk right now with Bitcoin. Due to rising fees, it suddenly becomes not practical. And, and and this is like really, uh, this is really, um, it's a disaster for Bitcoin and its growth and its potential. Um, and, and so that's why Roger Ver is fighting this battle hard and I really admire him greatly for it uh, because he's really, that's really like in a very important battle uh, because um, okay, altcoins will take over, but they don't have the mind share. Will never have the mind share that Bitcoin has, uh, or it will take many uh, a rebuilding of many, many, many years uh, to get something like Dash or, or Monero or Zcash or Ethereum or like to get that as popular as 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 as, as widely known as Bitcoin. Uh, it will need to bubble m- uh, much, much, much harder, and uh, so so so. So it would be really, really good if, if, if a Bitcoin can continue to con- conquer the world. And at the same time, altcoins will do that too, because Bitcoin, even if it is not getting sabotaged by increasing fees, it will not innovate uh, as much as altcoins can. So over the long run, yes, you will get a rich world of cryptocurrencies. But, but, but that's inevitable. But in the short term, it's also very important that Bitcoin continues to grow because nothing is for sure. There is still a risk that governments start to clamp down on Bitcoin, but they can't do that if it's something popular because politicians listen to votes and the people. And if people like Bitcoin, then they will find it hard to outlaw it. And, and so it's very important that Bitcoin continues to grow uh, in adoption and, uh, and, and also on-chain, uh, and that it continues to be cheap. And indeed, decentralization goes down, but that's not a problem. Uh, this is not uh, uh, the main... Uh, this, is, this is of much less importance than that it gets adopted by the masses. And if that means more centralization, okay, so be it. That has been always the case with Bitcoin. As it go- grows up, as it becomes bigger, it becomes more centralized. Uh, in mining, in validation of transactions, but also in nodes, uh, and, and it has also always been very centralized in development team. That's okay, um, it, but it's super important that it continues to grow. So, but so that's why I think if when the fork happens, that um, if the fork happens, that that Bitcoin Unlimited will go up a lot in value, and and over the long run will become bigger as as Bitcoin Core. Um, so I think it will be a good investment once there is a fork to invest in Bitcoin Unlimited, but not in Bitcoin Core. That's my personal opinion. Um, but, but but still, uh, Bitcoin Unlimited, uh, you will have two Bitcoins, and this will cause many people to also consider altcoins, because, well, if you have two Bitcoins, yeah, then the step to altcoins is not as big anymore. And, and many altcoins are just much better designed. Uh, Zcash, for example, I start to really, really like uh, because it offers a great privacy solution, but also has a great business model eh, where a piece of the inflation goes to the development team and the marketing team, uh, but also a great privacy solution. And it's a very, very computer hardware uh, intensive, but that's okay. Uh, that's what we have, uh, computers that go faster and faster, and you should use that uh, to build, you, su- you should use that power. Um, so, 
Uh, but you have many others that will also... Uh, uh, anyways, uh, to make a long story, story short, uh, I think at this point in time, altcoins are still the right place to be. And, uh, and, and, uh, and only when the fork happens, uh, Bitcoin Unlimited is a, is a great investment. Unless uh, they get to compromise, of course, uh, but that's very unlikely. Um, so that's my opinion. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Uh, and um, I wish you all a great day. Please share my video on your Facebook or Twitter or Snapchat. And also uh, press the like button if you liked it. And thank you so much all for the many comments I'm getting lately on my videos. I really appreciate it very much. I'm sorry I don't reply um, uh, to many. Um, but I do read them all. And, um, and um, I'm sure many others do too. So thank you so much. And it really helps in, in, in pushing up the visibility of uh, the videos. Have a great day, guys. Bye.